Hi everyone, this is Deb Tim and welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do so so you don't miss any videos coming up. And this way I can check out your channel as well. So today we are going to talk about why we do water changes. So please stay tuned. This is my 75 gallon mixed African cichlid aquarium. We fish keepers are very lucky to have our tanks, fish and their care to focus on during this epidemic we're struggling through. The problem is when it's our choice to stay in or work on things that need work, it's not an issue. However, when we're forced to stay in and keep busy, it just doesn't have the same appeal. Let me remind you, even when your tanks look clean and not in need of a water change, don't let that fool you. There are many silent killers that you do not see. Your water parameters can be way out of whack, even when the tank looks gorgeous. In my mind, when feeding my fish, I go by the rule, less is more. In other words, I lean more towards underfeeding my fish rather than giving them more than they need and contributing to issues that overfeeding can produce. Even when you don't see detritus, this does not mean there isn't any. Often it will be hiding in little nooks and crannies in the decor or laying on substrate behind things and settle down. And they only become evident when things get stirred up. Hiding in these spots, the leftover food begins to decay, producing nitrates and phosphate levels that must be addressed. Even when you don't overfeed, the food your fish consume has to go somewhere. It will re-enter the water as feces and urine, which will eventually cause water quality issues. You will see the detritus, but the chemical waste is not visible to us. But believe me, it's there. There are good reasons to make water changes a part of a weekly routine but not the only reason. It's also important that your water contain trace elements and minerals that help to keep your aquarium water chemistry stable for the benefit of the inhabitants. Over time, these elements will either be filtered out through your system or used up. In either case, they need to be replenished. Water changes do just that. If you don't do water changes, eventually your pH levels will drop and become dangerous. These trace minerals have a huge effect not only on our fish, their vitality, their activity and overall health, but also the healthy bacteria that is working so hard in your filter, removing ammonia from your water. A good water change is similar to a vitamin shot, a resurgence of vitamins and minerals that will keep your fish strong and healthy. A natural byproduct of excess waste comes in the form of nitrates and phosphates building up in your aquarium. If these are allowed to build to an unhealthy level, your fish will be more susceptible to sickness and disease. They will also have an adverse effect on breeding activity, growth, and will be stressful for your fish. An increase of nitrates and phosphates is a natural fertilizer for algae, promoting its growth as well. Changing your water is the best way to keep these two parameters low. When it comes to how often to do your water changes or how much water to remove, that becomes a gray area. We all have our own ways and preferences that work best for us. There really are no hard and fast rules as to how much or how little water to change. This really all depends on the size of the aquarium, 
how heavily it's stocked, and even where it sits in the room, how much light it gets can make a difference. This aquarium is heavily stocked, as you can see. It requires large water changes. I can do two smaller water changes each week, but I find a good 70% water change weekly is perfect. My fish are always healthy, breeding well, very active, and good appetites. All indications of a healthy aquarium. Not all my aquariums have the same requirements as they differ in stock and size. A smaller, sparsely stocked tank can even go two weeks without a problem. A properly stocked tank of less than 60 gallons can do quite well with a 25% water change weekly. Through the week, you may feel you need to do top-ups on your tanks due to water evaporation. I do that usually once a week between water changes. Although remember, this is doing nothing but adding water. It will not remove harmful elements from the water or improve problematic conditions. When I top up, I often grab my vac and do a quick surface vac to remove any visible detritus if it's noticeable. Just remember, any water that you do add must be conditioned before it enters your tank. Regular water changes are really a vital part of a good maintenance routine. Nowadays, with the amazing filtration systems you can buy and the chemical filtration media out there, the emphasis on weekly water changes has abated somewhat. However, no matter what filtration you are using, it will not and cannot offset the harmful effects of deteriorating water quality. Water changes can be a daunting task when you have a number of aquariums. Although, if you do have a case of MTS, that usually goes hand in hand with a knowledgeable fish keeper who is well acquainted with routine. For all the benefits of this amazing hobby, it does not come free or easy. There are factors of time and commitment required that are a huge part of being a good fish keeper. So just to reiterate the basic benefits of routine water changes, they restore and maintain balance in your aquarium removes harmful elements, dilutes unwanted chemicals, replenishes vital minerals, and improves water clarity. Water changes can be a nuisance at times, and yes, time-consuming, but when you realize all the benefits of your hard work, the joy your tanks bring you, and the sheer beauty before you, it's well worth the effort. So until next time, this is Deb Tim signing out. I hope you're having a great week. I know it's difficult being um, isolated and away from our friends, but you know what? We got to do what we got to do and do it for each other. Stay in contact through messaging, uh, video chats or whatever, but um, do your best and Stay safe and stay healthy. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.